can you love God whom you have never seen and hate your brother whom you see every day. Let's stop a minute. Let's look deeper. What do you mean, how can you love God whom you've never seen and then hate your brother? Wait. Then there's something in your brother that is of God. So when you hurt your brother, you're hurting your father. I'm a father, brothers. I got nine children, 23 grandchildren, one great-grandchild. And if I ever see my children fighting, it gives me such pain. If you are God, not big God, but a little God, made, as the Bible says, in the image and the likeness of God, then Elijah Muhammad said, every time I see a black man, I'm looking at God. So when I look at you, I don't have to wait to see the Father. I see the Father in you. So when I see you, I got a duty by you, brother. When I meet you, you say, oh, Farrakhan, I'm real happy to meet you, man. And I always say, it's my honor, brother to meet you. And you look at me and say, what, what, what is me? <laughs> How he honored to meet me. Because when I meet you, I'm meeting a person that has never been on the earth before and there will never be one quite like you ever, ever again. So, when I see you, I have to treat you like I would honor God. I have to respect each human being. I have to respect you, brother. Even though you don't know who you are, I know. And because I know, my duty is to honor and respect you. Even these little children, they are little babies. But the power of God is in them and they're going to grow up one day, hopefully, to be mighty men so you start respecting them when they're in the cradle. You start respecting them when you see the woman forming that child in the womb. You don't wait till it gets here. And that's why no man who's a real man will beat a woman. No man who is a real man will beat a woman. No man who's a real man will disrespect a woman because it's through woman that we live. Go ahead. If you live to be the age of Methuselah, which is 969 years, you're still going to die. So how do you continue? You continue through a woman. So when she tells you, I love you, when she says, I love you, if she means it from the depth of her heart, she's saying, I want to give life to you. I want to extend your life by my love. So you and she enter into a contractual arrangement that is from divine. 
And after nine months, she suffers the pain of death to give birth to you all over again.